Engineering Mechanics Part 4. This is Situation 6 and Situation 7. Let's go! Unang tanong, Situation 6. A force P of magnitude 280 pounds is applied to a member A, B, C, D. A is supported by a frictionless pin at A and the cable C, E, D. And the cable C, E, D. Now, si C, E, D nakaloop siya sa isang pulley. So, we can assume na yung tension sa C, E at saka yung member D, E, parehas yan dahil pulley lang naman to. For the case, A is 3 inches. A is etong distance na to. Hindi na pinakita sa figure, no? Uh, nilagay ko na lang kaagad. 3 inches yung sukat. First question is to determine the ten tension in the cable. So, ito na yung pre-body diagram, no? Gumawa ako. Ang gagawin ko lang, I will take up the summation of moments at point A must be equal to 0. Let's take clockwise as positive. So, unahin natin. Kuwari, isipin muna. So, we have 280 times ang moment arm niya kay point A ay ito, which is 3 inches. So, nagin natin dito, 3 inches. And will it rotate it in a clockwise direction? Yes. Kapag tinulak mo yung P, iikutan niya yung A ng uh, clockwise. So, positive moment. Ito, ayon sa ating sign convention. Ngayon yung sign convention nga pala, ikaw magde-decide nito, bahala ka. Okay? Bahala kang mag-decide kung positive o negative yung clockwise, anti-clockwise mo. It's your choice. Now, tuloy natin. So, we have T. etong T na to. So, T, ang moment arm niya is this one, which is 12 inches. So, times mo ng 12. And iikutan niyo yung point A ko in a counterclockwise direction. That's why negative to. And then, itong T sa taas. So, ginawa ko siya in component form. So, we have T times ang kanyang X component is 7 over 25 of T. So, ito yun, itong green na to. And ang kanyang magiging moment arm is this length, which is 12 inches. So, T times 7 over 25 times 12 inches. Again, iikutan niyo yung A ko in a clockwise direction. So, positive. And then we have T times yung Y component naman, 24 over 25. Ang kanyang moment arm is this distance. So, kung 5 to at 3 to, the total distance is 8. The moment arm is 8. Again, iikutan yung A ko ng clockwise, so positive. Okay, all of that moment, yung pag sinama po, dapat equal to 0. And solving 40, we use our calculator and solve 40. And I will use the solve function to solve for x. And I will get, okay, x is 875. So T is 875 pounds. So this is the answer for the first problem nung situation natin, number 17. So that is ito, letter B. Next problem para dun sa situation natin, determine the vertical reaction at A. So again, ito yung pre-body diagram at sinulat ko na yung mga values nung T, yung X and Y component nung T sa taas at saka itong T sa baba. To get the vertical uh, reaction at A, gagawin ko lang, no? simple lang, magsasummation lang ako ng forces vertical or ng forces Y. And taking upward as positive, I will get A sub, A sub Y. So ano pa? Yung P ko pababa. So minus 280 pounds yung P. Okay, so ito walang vertical component. So ito, yung 24 over 25, 875 or... Uh, 840 minus 840 must be equal to 0. And, okay, AY must be equal to 1,120 pounds. This is our answer for uh, number 18. Okay, for the last problem, number 19, para dun sa situation 6, determine the angle of the reaction. I just assume that it's referring to the reaction at A. So, yung reaction sa A, must be somewhat like this. Ito yung reaction sa A. And it's the, uh, the resultant of AY and AX. So, para makuha natin yung reaction na yan, kailangan natin si AX. So, to do that, I will sum up forces X. Must be equal to 0 for equilibrium. So, taking rightward as positive. So, I have negative AX minus a plus. 
itong T, which is 875. And ano pang may X component? Ito, yung naka-incline na T dito, which has an X component of 245. Must be equal to 0, and I get AX. Okay? AX is equal to uh, positive 1,120 pounds. Then, and remember, AY natin, given dito, 1,120 pounds. Para makuha yung angle, di ba? mag arc tangent ka lang nung AY over AX actually equal to 45 degrees. So, the angle is 45 degrees and that angle refers dito sa angle na to. Ito yung 45 degrees. So, our answer for number 19, the last question for situation 6, is uh, 45 degrees or Letter C. Okay, situation 7. Ang given ay isang truss. Okay, may kita mo dito yung truss A, B, C, D, E. And merong force 600 at saka 900 newtons horizontal doon sa point E at saka point D. First question is to determine the force at point D. E. So para gawin yon kunin natin yung pre-body diagram at point D or at joint D. So, gamitin natin yung term na joint dahil truss to. Okay, at joint D, we have this, the pre-body diagram of joint D. Okay, ano yung mga forces? Meron tayong yung external force na 600 newtons. And we will also be exposing two forces. Let's assume tension yung dalawang force. So, we have DE at saka yung force DC. So, this is the pre-body diagram at joint D. To determine DE, ang gagawin ko, magsa-summation muna ako ng forces horizontal. So, summation of forces X must be equal to 0 for equilibrium. Okay, so we have 600. And DC, ang slope nito, okay, if you observe yung mga sukat ng traces natin, ang slope ng ng kaslant na to is 2, 1, and then we have square root of 5 for the hypotenuse. So, this is the slope triangle. So, we can easily get yung x and y component. So, the x component of dc is so plus dc times an x component of 1 over square root of 5. Must be equal to 0. And we get dc is negative 600 square root of 5. Newtons. The negative sign just indicates na hindi siya tension, compression siya. Pero, let's, let's just uh, retain yung negative. No? Basta asyo mo lahat, everything is in tension. Okay? Everything is in tension, this is a negative tension. Which basically means compression. Okay. Now, next step is to sum up forces y must be equal to 0. Again, at joint D pa rin. And what you will get is that okay, pababa yung DE, so negative DE, and then pababa yung Y component ng DC, which is DC times 2 over square root of 5, must be equal to 0. So substituting yung values, we have negative, okay? Dahil hindi ko iniba yung arrangement ng drawing, lalagay ko pa rin is negative 600 times square root of 5 times 2 over Square root of 5 equals 0, and I will get DE, which is equal to 1,200 newtons positive, so this must be in tension. So DE is 1,200 uh, newtons in tension. So 1,200, that's 1.2 kilonewtons. The answer for the first uh, question is letter A. Now let's go doon sa... Second question, determine the force CE. This is somewhat a bonus question kung magaling ka mag-observe. And then observe at point C or at joint C. Drawing natin yung pre-body diagram. Okay? Ang inahanap nating pre-body diagram force is yung kay CE. Ang merong force dito ay kay DC at saka kay C. B. Now, ang mapapansin mo is that si DC at saka si CB, iisa yung line of action ng forces nila. Iisa sila. This means that DC is equal to CB, partner sila. And kung may kita mo, CE has no partner. This indicates that CE is a zero force member. Dahil wala siyang kalineup. Si DC at CB nag-line up 
So, equal sila, pwede mo sila tanggalin sa sa imagination mo. CE na lang yung meron at dahil walang ka-partner yung CE, we know that it is a zero force member. Therefore, the force in CE must be equal to zero. Okay? Kaya mo ang bonus, di ba? Kasi yan dali eh. Kailangan marunong kang magtingin ng zero force member. So, the answer for, for CE is C, uh, zero uh, newtons or sa zero. Okay? Next question is to determine the force EB. And ang inahanap nating force is ito, no? Itong dinilaw ko na member. Force uh, EB. So, again, at joint E. Gawa tayo ng pre-body diagram at joint E. Ito si joint E. So, ang gagawin ko lang, magsasummation lang ako ng forces sa x equal 0 and may kita mo na madali nating masolve yung EB kasi 900 plus CE, kaso 0 siya, so wag na nating isulat, plus EB times yung x component ni EB which is uh, plus EB times, para makuha yung x component which is 1 over square root of 5 must be equal to 0. So, EB is negative 900 square root of 5 which is about uh, 2 kilonewtons in compression dahil negative. Okay. So, ang pinakamalapit na sagot it's 2 kilonewtons. So, I think the closest answer is letter D which states 2.1 uh, kilonewtons compression. So, the answer for number 22 is letter D. Like me video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe!